TV, watching the Nationals and the Olympics, there's somebody you sort of try to emulate? Yeah, well, it kind of started back in, uh, in 2006 uh, with uh, Evgeny Pleshenko and Alexei Agudin, and I think it was 2002. I don't think Pleshenko was in 2000. I messed that up. <laughs> Sorry. Yep. In, uh, in 2002, Evgeny Pleshenko and Alexei Agudin um, you know, the way they jumped and the athleticism they had, you know, it kind of brought me back to figure skating and really think, you know, I love jumping and I want to I want to do what they do, you know, all the quadruple jumps. So um, I decided to really, you know, start focusing more and more on that and it kind of brought me to where, I, you know, I am uh, as an athletic skater. I really took in my hockey and uh, my hockey background and really, you know, made it where it is today. No, no, I was definitely the underdog um, and there was no, I don't have any problem with that, you know, I didn't ever make my name, so. Um, I was I was ready to go uh, when I got there. I was you know I was so trained and ready to compete. Uh, I was every practice I was ready to go. I just felt that that energy. And I knew that I was ready to uh, deliver two clean programs, and there was nothing to hold me back. And uh, the crowd and uh, the energy that they gave off, you know, I really used it to my you know advantage. I didn't let the nerves get to me at all. Uh, and to be honest, there was no nerves, uh, you know, going into the event. I was just going to go there, and I was going to give it all I had. And whether I fell on every jump pass or I landed every jump pass, I just wanted to come out with uh, the feeling that I, you know, I, I gave it everything I had, and I, you know, came out there and I wanted to accomplish everything I could. Were you surprised when the day was done, or when you saw the scores come up? You know, when you went into the yeah. To be honest, uh, really, I, I in the back of my head going into the event, I just thought that I would um, can be up there with the best of the men if I competed clean, and uh, that. Uh, I would, you know, I can definitely hang with them, but I never really thought that I would, you know, win the event, to be honest. And, uh, you know, sitting backstage and I saw the men started falling behind me as, you know, a couple skaters were left and it kind of hit me and it made me a little nervous, you know, wow, I can, I can win or I can go to the World Championships or the Four Continent Championships. And uh, I never really thought about it that way. Um, and then, you know, as, you know, the guys started going behind me more and more and more, it, you know, it hit me and I just always wanted that moment where, my parents and my, you know, my grandparents would see me compete, you know, at the top of my game and see me win a big championship, and that really meant a lot to me. Uh, and that really, I think that really means the most to me. Uh, just competing um, and making myself happy and showing to my parents that all their hard work and dedication really paid off. Well, you're watching it mm. on TV, I assume. Yeah, yeah, we, uh, we had a little holding area that we sat in, all the men and anyone that wanted to come down towards the end of the event, and they'll, they'll everyone congratulate each other. Um, but yeah, definitely watching that. Uh, I remember getting off the ice and uh, I told my coaches that uh, I don't really care where I end up, you know. Like I said, I wanted to be happy after the event, and I, I was. And uh, I can go home and, and see my parents, and you know, they were excited uh, for me to skate well, and you know, my, I made the TV cut, which was, you know, huge to me. So uh, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't care. I ended up taking my skates off and my costume off like I wasn't gonna medal. Um, just because, you know, it's over, you know? It was a good, good run, you know, I had a great time. Um, but as we're watching back there, um, you know, someone would go behind me, someone would go behind me, and I started going up, and then I started, you know, I was in the middle, you know, in the middle hunt, you know, my name is fourth, third, and uh, that was really neat. And um, it, was, it was a cool feeling that I will never forget, and hopefully, you know, I can repeat it this next season. As you look forward towards the Olympics, uh, what's, what's the special prep in all of this? Uh, nothing really. Uh, everyone keeps saying that you're going to do this, you're going to do this. My mentality is going to stay the same. Uh, that's what made me who I am today, Good. and that's what made me win the event. Um, but uh, really, I'm just going to really focus on more uh, uh, complete performance. 
So I really want to make sure that uh, I stay on top of that. And uh, I added Lori Nichol as my long choreographer, and I still use Pasquale for the short program. So these two programs, I think, are really the ones that can really help me make the Olympic team um, and really show a performance on another side of me. And uh, we're definitely going to add another quadruple jump. We're going to have three in a long and two in a short, and uh, really just you know be with the best of the men. You know, if I want to go to the Olympics, man, I want to be shooting for number one. You know, so why not be shooting for number one with the you know, three quadruple jumps in a program? So I know I can handle that, and I'm going to you know take the challenge and go to the next step with it. You said earlier when you were coming up here that you'd been to Jamestown previously. What was that? Yeah, yeah. In 2005 at the Junior National Championships here, I, uh, I won. I won uh, Juvenile Men. Uh, I think it's called Juvenile Boys, actually. Can't be, we're not men yet. Um, but uh, yeah, that was a neat experience. Uh, I will never forget that. Uh, so that was my first title I ever had, and I will never forget this area and uh, the skate I had here. Um, that was truly amazing. I remember, you know, the same feeling I got when I won the senior championships. You know, seeing my, my parents in the stands and you know, giving them a big hug and, and having that same experience eight years later, but at the you know the top of top of the game, uh, it was really neat. And I'm so glad I can have that experience. But always coming back here brings me back to, you know, where it all started. Well, that's nifty. Do you remember what you what you skated to? Yeah, Les Mis. Les Mis. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that was a long time ago. I actually remember a lot of the program I had on tape, and I usually go back, you know, kind of, you know, see, you know, give me that extra motivation and kind of inspiration, bring me back to, to what made me who I am today. And I always watch this program, you know, it's uh, the energy was just great. Everyone in the, in the crowd was great. Um, saying that it wasn't a packed event, but the ones that were there to watch that, um, it was just an amazing feeling that uh, I wanted to repeat as many times as I can, and I definitely think I did uh, at the last championships, in the senior championships. So it was really neat to come back here uh, and now perform uh, for the crowd here to give back. than ever watching you and following your career because of this connection. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Well, thank you. It's terrific.